Just 14 hours after a sobbing Amanda Knox left an Italian courtroom under police escort, she was walking with her family in a Rome airport to board her flight, starting her journey home to Seattle. The public has had only glimpses of the 24-year-old since her conviction for sexually assaulting and slaying her British roommate was overturned. She did send a personal message in a letter to the Italy-U.S. Foundation, which had championed her cause. She thanked the foundation and others who supported her in the nearly four years she spent in prison. Back in Perugia, her lawyer Carlo Della Vedova suggested the media should have treated the proceedings with more respect. There's a tragedy of, of a young girl that was found dead, as well as uh, two young kids that have been in jail for four years uh, with no reason, apparently. Plus, there is another gentleman who's also been sentenced. So altogether, he is a, it's, a, it's a sorrow. I think uh, uh, there's no winner. It's difficult to say that uh, there is a winner in this case. And the family of murder victim Meredith Kircher, including brother Lyle, told a packed news conference they were left stunned by the verdict. If the two who uh, were released yesterday were not the guilty party, then we are now obviously left wondering who is the other person or people. And really for us it feels very much almost like back to square one and the search goes on really to find out what, what truly happened. The prosecution's version of events surrounding Kircher's death had been blown apart by a court-ordered DNA review that discredited crucial evidence. They vowed to appeal the decision freeing Knox and her former boyfriend to Italy's highest criminal court. But even a victory there wouldn't guarantee any extradition from the U.S. For now, the 24-year-old can put her prison time behind her and savor her freedom with her family. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.